Hey folks, welcome back to Dune Imperium. This game's actually released in uh, out of early access today, and I've been playing it a little bit in early access, and I love it. I think it's amazing. I've actually played it a couple of times on the channel already, so go back and check out the previous episodes. But my understanding is that the AI has been improved a little bit, which is fine for me. I always like good AI. The thing is, I found the game quite difficult anyway. <laughs> so it's one of those... Yeah, it's one of those games. Got it's got a really, com uh, really competent AI. Um, I'm going to start playing this online at some point, but I want to be able to beat the AI consistently first. So I'm actually going to play against the computer again. So that's what we're going to do. Now it's been a little while since I played this. I think I'm going to just play with three. Yeah, I might just have three opponents this time. Uh, I'll keep the AI on normal, and uh, yeah, everything's going to be just left on standard. <clears throat> Let's see who we get to pick to play with. All right, so we've got to pick a Paul Atreides and Helena Richess. Now, uh, which one was she again? Enemy alien agents don't block your agents at uh, the green or blue board spaces. That's pretty good. That's pretty powerful. Um, the other thing is she's got the manipulate signet ring ability. Remove and replace a card in the Imperium row. Uh, during your reveal turn this round, you may acquire remove the acquired acquire the removed card for one less okay so both of these players are kind of about getting cards because this is how paul atreides plays as well um by the way this guy's meant to be complexity level one i actually think that he's probably a little bit higher than that um i think he's really strong if you play in a certain way from what i can gather his his uh, ability is he can look at the top deck of the card at any time like literally at any point in the game uh so uh and you've also got the ability to take a card with your signet ring whenever you play the signet ring card. So you can take a card. So this guy's all about getting cards and playing more cards. Let's uh, let's jump in. Okay. Alright, so the conflict's revealed. By the way, I'm going to assume you guys have watched me play this before. If not, go back and watch the previous episodes. This game is dead complicated and I really can't be bothered to explain how to play it multiple times over. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Ariana, we've got Ariana Thorvald and we've got Count Ilvan Rishis. Um Thorvald went for still suits, so she's going up the Fremen track. Uh, let's have a look what we can do. Oh, why have we got the tutorials turned back on? Let me just see if I can turn that off, guys. You can do that. Uh, oh, well. Uh, hopefully that doesn't keep pestering me. So... Let's see what we've got. Uh, let's just have a look at the card. Where's the... This is one. Let's have a look at what the card is. Okay, it's going to be a convincing argument. Um, That's pretty good for getting new cards. Let's see what we've got here. Now, anything in the, the Benny Gesserit line is quite good for Paul. So that's not a bad card to get. Power play is a good card to grab as well. And we got another Benny Gesserit card. Okay. I think we probably want to try to get this convincing argument card if we can. Um, so we want to we want to pick something that's going to give us a card if we can. Also, I'd like to go for the High Council early. Um, how do we go about that? Well, I remember the best way to do it. You can go, you can grab wealth. That's one way of doing it. Or you can sell some spy. Or you get the secure contract. That's another one. So we could grab that for the three. But then I kind of want this card, don't I? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any spice. Um... Otherwise, we could have grabbed this. This would have been a good way of going about things. Although it's a bit early to be scrapping cards, I think. I think I'm just going to go with my usual plan, which is to to try to pick, to tr try to get the High Council early. Um, let's just end our turn. Okay. Ilban's played his uh, Signet card, and he's gone for the uh, Carthag to get himself an Intrigue card. She's playing Diplomacy. She's gone for the Spacing Guild. Alright.
Um, do we try and jump on the Fremen game early? No, I think as I, I, I'm just going to go with my plan to try and get the High Councils fast. So let's just jump onto uh, the Emperor. Uh, it takes us up the Emperor track one as well. Okay, so next turn I'm going to get the High Council. That was going to reduce the cost, uh, the persuasion cost of all of these cards, essentially. Okay, by the way, I forgot about the skirmish completely. I'm not that bothered about the skirmish of the first one. There is a victory point up for grabs and some water. Um, yeah, it's just going to be reveal for me. So, what can we get? Nothing here. Uh, we could get a scout. That's not a bad card. We've also got the assassination mission, which is basically yeah. You when you, if you track if you can trash the card, you get money for it. That's not a bad idea. It's not a particularly great card as it is. That's a good card if you're uh, planning on playing the skirmish game a lot, which I I am. Um, but it's kind of a weak card in other ways. I think we're going to... We'll grab that, I think. Ah, oh, there's a Sardaukar infantry as well. We'll pass on that one. Okay. Okay, so what's the old man doing? Okay. He's going to win the skirmish by the looks of it. Okay, so he picked up the Benny Gesserit um, sister and the assassination card. Ariana's passing... Okay, so Ilban's going to take the lead with the first victory point. Ariana's got the consolation prize of some water. Okay, terrible purpose. Okay, right, we've got a bunch of convincing arguments, which is good if we want to grab some cards. We've still got the power play card to grab. I was also using the voice with, again, with Betty Gesserit. Yeah, some interesting stuff here. Okay. I think we probably... We want to get the High Council. Now, what card have we got on top of the deck? Oh, there is no deck. Okay. There is no card, so... Uh, if we draw a card, we're going to get something random. What else do we want to do this turn? That's my only plan, really. We've also got the option to go and grab some spice. Now, if we had two water, we could get this one. But there's three here for one water. That's not a bad bet. So let's. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a new card with it as well. Okay. And we're going to grab a card. Okay, so we got a reconnaissance card. And we got the option to deploy some troops, which we probably should do. Yeah, we should try to we should try to go for this one. Okay. So we've got four points now, four combat strength points. Uh, okay, Ilban played fold space. Where did he play it? Okay, he played it onto fold space again. Interesting. So he's trying to go up for the spacing guild. He's playing uh, that on the great flat, using some of the water up to get a whole bunch of spice. Okay. Uh, now it's time for me to play my dagger card, and I'm going to play it up on here to get to, uh, the place on the High Council. Uh, there we go. That is it for us this turn. Okay, there's a Dune the Desert Planet card next. Which has just been played on the Imperial Basin by uh, Ilban. And Ariana's played a Reconnaissance card on Carthag up here. Okay, we by the way, we want to get one of these as well as soon as we can. One of these uh, Intrigue cards. Having an Intrigue card in your hand is... It's kind of, it's a good tactic to have. I don't know how important it is against the AI, but it keeps other human beings guessing as to what your plans are. Okay, let's hit reveal. Okay, I've got, I can actually, I've got seven here. Power play's good. Uh, also, the Benny Gesserit cards are good for us, so we could get two of those. I'm actually going to do that. Let's get the Benny Gesserit cards. Oh, there's Gurney as well. Yeah, shame we didn't know he was coming up. I'd have got him. Uh, we've got two left. Arrakis recruiter card. Well, we've got spice smugglers. Uh, 
That's actually not a bad card to play. Okay, gonna go on a wide deck game this time, I think. I usually play, try to play with a fairly lean deck, but I think I think a wide deck is gonna be an interesting way of playing it. Okay. Bindi suspension, she can pass her turn. Okay, so she's actually uh, moved ahead of us to get the victory point. And she acquired Gurney Halleck as well. Okay, so we came second here. So at least we got the consolation prize of the Spice in the Water. Which is better than it sounds, by the way. It sounds like it's, you know, compared to a victory point, that's not that great. But gives you a little bit of a head start in, in pushing your production in which, which, whichever way it is that you want to go next. Um, I like to save for this one here. Okay, what do we want? Yeah, we want it, we want it, we definitely want to go for this one because you get to choose two influence and that's pretty powerful. Okay, he's playing fold space again. He's trying to go up he's trying to go up the uh, center here in um uh, the spacing guild. Okay, she plays Selected Breeding, and she trashed her assassination card, so big load of uh, big load of Solari for that. Okay. Okay, we can't see what's on the top of our deck. Getting more spice would be good, and then we could grab this card here, the Highliner, and then try and make a push for this. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. I would like to get the Swordsmaster eventually if I can, although, you, you know, one or the other is usually a good strategy. If you can get both, then that's great. Um, yeah, maybe I do that. Maybe I grab this one. Now, these guys don't have any garrison troops here. Maybe they're not that bothered about this. We probably should be moving up the influence track as much as we can as well. Now we could just we could use conspire here, that would give us a Solari and some troops and a card. I think that might be a better bet for us. Let's grab that rather than going straight for the Highliner this time. So we get some Solari, so we we're actually moving our way towards getting the Swordsmaster if we want it. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Ah, oh, I love this game so much. I'm trying to organise a game at the moment with um with Does Tactic and Richard York. So um, once we've got some time and those guys are both up for it, we'll see if we can sort that out. That could be good fun. Okay, so Ariana is playing Secret of the Sisterhood, a plot card. Okay, so she's moving really, really far up here in the Bene Gesserit. Okay, he's actually winning this just with two at the moment. I'm tempted to just go for Arakeen. Get ourselves a, you know, get ourselves another card. Alternatively, we could try to, we could try to take, you know, try to move up on one of these as well. That might be an idea. Yeah, maybe we do this. Do I care about coming second? Yeah, maybe I undo that. Um, I might go for the spice, and that will enable us to actually uh, put some troops down here too. Now, we won't be able to deploy many. It should be enough to put me ahead. Also, we got the scout as well, and we can retreat those if we need to. Okay, so he's actually got another two another two points here. He's gone up to four. And she's revealed one point, although she hasn't doesn't have any garrisons down, so that's not gonna help her. She picked up Peter de Vries. Um Yep, let's just go for reveal then. Yeah, okay. 
This is giving me the tutorial for some reason. I think it's because there must be a new version of the game. Uh, all right. Fedekin Death Commando. Not a bad card. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, uh, go away. Um, Gunthropter's also a good card. Each uh, opponent loses one garrison troops if you play it. Or you can deploy a troop from your garrison. This is a really good card. Yeah, maybe I'll grab that. Okay, so we can retreat up to two. I'm just going to leave that. Let's see what happens. I don't think he's... Yeah, he's passed. So I don't think he's going to play any other cards now. I don't think he can. It looks like we might have won this one. Okay. If I thought I was going to lose there, I could have retreated some of my garrisons. Uh, so some of my... Uh, some of my soldiers. Choose uh, two factions to gain one influence with. Um, I think we should go... Let's go with... Let's go with the Spacing Guild. And I think with the Fremen as well. Okay, so that puts us in within one... Uh, you know, one diplom diplomacy card's reach of a victory... Of two victory points, essentially. Okay, so we get the option. Uh, this is going to be the conflict for Imperial Basin. That's this one here. Okay, let's play Gurney Halleck on uh, Carthag. Oh, look at that. Okay, she's placed out. She's going for this one hard, right? Right from the start. That's some, that could be something we could play. All right. I want more spice, I think. We also need water, too. Getting water's not so easy in this game. Um, Maybe we just grab some more spice. And then we can play the... We can buy this one again from the Emperor. Okay, and we'll deploy some troops. Now, we do have the Dispatch and Envoy card we could play if we wanted to get some, you know, oh, if we did want to get some more water. But I think I'm going to play Conspire again, and that will push me up further in the um, in the Emperor's favour, or the Imperial favour. Okay, so uh, Ariana's actually, she's now allied with the Bene Gesserit. Which, by the way, if you know much about the law, that seems like a very nebulous thing. <laughs> I'm not sure how possible that really is. Yeah, I think here we're gonna we are gonna dispatch an envoy, and I'm gonna grab the still suits. No, I mean the uh, sorry, the conspire. Okay, that's going to give us a couple of legions. Oh, we got a plot card. Ah, we can actually play that. So we've got the, this, this Coem Shares card. That's interesting. Do I play that immediately? I think I will, because I don't want to lose that. That's actually a pretty good one, and we've got the money for it as well. So that's just going to give us a free victory point. Okay, nice card. Got me back in the game. Ilban's playing the, on the Great Flat. He's going to grab all that spice. Looks like he might be trying to go for the Highliner. Oh, and he went up too. Okay. He got, made a power play. I think is what he just used too. Okay, we can deploy troops. Okay, so we've gone up to eight. Um, uh, there's a Benny Gesserit sister card. I'd like to take that. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I've, I'm going to win this one. I think, unless one of these plays of uh, you know one of these intrigue cards. Okay, stage incident. So she loses three of her troops in the conflict, but that means that she. Uh, She's going to lose then, but she gets a victory point straight away. 
pretty powerful thing to do if you think you're not going to win. Okay, so I got another victory point. There we go. Also got a control marker. That's four. Anybody who lands on this uh, Imperial Basin now will give me a spice. It's very, very cool. Cloak and dagger. Okay. Now. This would be a good opportunity. Uh, by the way, I could have got the uh, Swords Master. But I think the victory point was a good bet. I don't. You don't need the extra action, to be honest. Look, these guys haven't really bothered going for it yet either. Um... Okay, we've got G manipulation. So if we play this card, we loot, we can scrap a card, and we get if we've got another card in play, Benny Gesserit card, we can play two spice. Let's just see what's on top here. Okay, it's a scout. We need water, don't we? I think. Got no way of getting any at the moment. I don't. That's the only problem. Uh. Okay. We want to win this because getting a couple of intrigue cards and some favor isn't a bad thing. But we don't want to. I don't want to put a lot of, you know, I don't want to put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, we really want. If we, we had another Benny Gesserit card in play, this would be a really good one to play now. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to this turn. Six. Maybe we could try to make play for the Swordmaster. Or we could. Uh, maybe we. Just get some cash, uh, some Solari, and then we go for Rally Troops. That's another option. Let's just see what cards we've got available here. Okay. Carriol's a good card. Let's grab ourselves another Intrigue card, I think. Okay, that's a good one. So I'm just going to deploy one here. And just get ourselves in this game. Uh, we get to scrap a card as well. Let's just get rid of a Dune the Desert Planet, I think. But it's always good to scrap a card if you've got the option. If you've got a large deck. Be interesting to see if these guys actually do try and make a play for this. Okay, so Ilban's actually starting to climb up the Imperial rankings. He's playing Rally Troops. Okay, looks like she might actually try to want to win this one. There's still the scout on the uh, on the pile. Yeah, maybe I get some Solari. That might be a, that might be an idea. Alternatively, we get more spice. Yeah, we don't have much op we don't have many options to be honest. So Yeah, these are all just one each. Let's play this one. And I won't bother with the reinforcements. I don't mind if I don't care if I don't win this one. Um, if I come second, that'll be decent enough. Oh, is he going to play some cards? No, he's not. What I meant was, uh, is he actually going to put some more down on here? Some more troops, but it doesn't look like it. And I'm not going to waste my I'm not going to waste my money on that either. Yeah, this this is pretty good. I might grab this carry all card. That's a shame those Elite Keens card came up. Um It's a shame that we didn't have that one before. We don't really need it. We're not really bothered with the Frem in this game. Not not a whole lot anyway. One of the di one of the challenges, by the way, about playing this game and talking at the same time is it's kind of difficult because you really need to be keeping an eye on what they're doing, and I find that difficult enough anyway. Uh, I'm, 
I don't have a big brain in that respect where I'm able to memorize huge amounts of stuff. I can I can actually memorize cards. I learned to do that years ago, uh, but I've not practiced that skill in years. <laughs> so I'm not very good at it. And you have to be concentrating as well and use some kind of like visual mnemonics. Um, but yeah, it's been a while. Let's just pass here. But really, you want to be keeping an eye on what's going on. Okay, so she's beat me to this. That's fine. She's actually going to get herself some a uh, couple of a uh, couple of entry cards, and she's going to go up in the rankings. I wonder what she's going to go for. Okay, so she went for the Fremen. Now we're going to be on round six. I still, it's okay. Guild Bank raid. It's going to give us Solari. Again, not so bothered about this, especially if I've already got some. Uh, if you've already got Solari, but it might be worth playing. You know, just a couple of a couple of legions to try to get. Okay. Well, I need to start moving my way up the uh, victory points now because I'm lagging behind. Well, we're quite close uh, to one, two, three. Gosh, she's gone up to seven. Okay, she's playing fold space. All right. Choose any board space. Opponents can't send their agents there this round. And we've got Seek Allies. All right, now's our opportunity to go and grab this, I think. So we probably want to take this. Having water would also be useful, though. Um, mind you, the two Solari would get us what we need to get the Swordsmaster. And I think if we're going to do that, now's the time. So let's grab that. We'll get the victory point and have the alliance with the Emperor. Okay. Uh, we've also got the we've got a couple of these cards here, but I'm going to hang on to those for now. Uh, I think next I'm going to grab the Swordsmaster. It doesn't look like I can play anything this turn on that though. Okay, Ilban's put a couple of a couple of troops down for the Guild Bank raid. She's put two down as well. Yeah, I can't get this this turn. That's a shame. In that case, I might just grab... Ah, I can actually take one of his cards if I play this. So let's grab that. And I'll also... So this is Secrets. So I grabbed one of his Influence cards. Oh, we got a Master Tactician card out of it. And a Bribery. And a Victory Point. There we go. So we're up to uh, five Victory Points now. Okay. I don't want to play that because I want the Solari. Now we can deploy any number of your garrison troops to the conflict. If it's your reveal turn, you may deploy any of these troops to the conflict, but you've got to pay three. Now I'm going to wait. We, I mean, we could win this if we wanted. I don't know if it's worth playing the cards over, though, in all honesty. So let's just pass on that. I don't, I don't think I need the Solari enough. Now, Solari is one of these things. You need it for certain jobs, you know, for the Lanserad stuff, for example. But it's it's also one of those things that if you don't have it when you need it, it's, it's a bit of a bummer. Wow, she's up to eight victory points already. She's really storming ahead. Look, it's only turn six. That's really, really high. She could end the game soon, by the way, because if you remember, as soon as you get to ten victory points, uh, you, uh, that, uh, that triggers the end game. And then you tally up all your scores to see who's going to win. Um... Yeah, let's just reveal here. Okay, there's a Thufa Howitt card. There's also the Bene Gesser initi Initiate. Um, Thufa Howitt's really good for us, though. Not only is he a diplomat, look, he's uh, also... He gives us a card, and that's really what we want, so I'm going to go for him. Okay. So he grabbed the Reverend Mother card. That would have been a nice one for us to get. She's passing. Yeah, Ariana Thorwald can actually win the game pretty soon, I think. She's re she's really storming ahead. Wow, look at this. A lot of spice available as well. 
Okay, so this is the battle for Arakeen. So we're actually going to get the control of Arakeen with this one. Um, not only that, but you get two victory points. We're starting to get into the end game now. Okay, so she's played Peter Devies. Ah, oh, damn it, she's taking the Swordsmaster. That's annoying. All right. Okay, we've got the scout card there. What do we want? I want to save my. I want to save the Solari for the for the uh, Swordsmaster if we can. Okay, we can scrap a card. That would be useful. Uh, what are we going to do? I want to win this one. I think I'm might be worth going for the uh, the, the Mentat here. That would give us another turn, in which case we might play the Dagger. So let's go for the Mentat. It gives us an extra turn and also it basically pushes our turn to the back. Yeah, it did cost two Solari, but we can't. We uh, we will have to get some more Solari anyway if we're going to go for the uh, Swordsmaster. It's kind of it's getting a bit late in the game to, to spend that on that now. I'm going to have to see. I'll only do that if I feel that it's going to actually advance my game. Okay, uh, we also should probably try to get this these, this victory point here and this one if we can. It's probably not a lot of opportunity to do that. Uh, I don't want to lose this card here either or this victory point here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to increase my league here now because um, Ilban could potentially take that off me, and that would be quite disastrous to my game. I'd say. Ariana's playing fold space here on uh, the Imperial Basin. Uh, that's carry your card there. Yeah. I think I wanted to pull. Mind you, this would give us three. Yeah, we need to, we need to we need to contest this this turn, or at least at the, you know at some point. That's going to give me Solari. Yeah, I think I w I won't deploy this one. Let's play this here. Where are we going to play it? We could potentially get that spice harvest card because we've got to yeah. So we're gonna we're actually gonna be able to pick a card here. Let's play ourselves some some troops. Now uh, we've got a carry all card for next turn, which we can play on here if no one else plays it first. Um, oh no, we can't because we haven't got any water. All right, we might be able to play it. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some water first. I should have looked at that. I made a bit of a mistake there. I was like, oh, I could just play it on here and I forgot I don't have any water. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, do I undo all this? Yeah, I don't think I can. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead. Yeah, we could play this in the next turn. I think you can probably play that. Ah, any number of your garrison troops. I got an idea. Let's not deploy any troops here. Then we can play this. If it's your reveal turn, you can deploy any of these troops to the conflict. Yeah, we don't want to pay for that. Let's just end the turn here, and then we'll let's just get leader into a false sense of security, and then we'll we'll deploy all of our troops or as many as we can that we need to to win. Okay, so he's gone to he's deployed two down, so he's got four. Now bearing in mind that they might have a whole hand of cards with, you know, with combat points on. But I want to win this one. This is an important one. Also, getting Arakeen would be really, really useful, because any time that anyone lands on this, we're gonna get a card. Oh no, we'd get we'd get a uh, we'd get a Solari. Um oh she's wow, she's put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, well that's that plan over with yeah it's not even worth trying to contest that I don't think 
It might be nice to try and get this. But I don't think it's worth spending these on. Uh, yes. What can we do? Having more spice would be useful. But we can't, we don't have any water for it. Let's just play this and we'll scrap a card, I think. Ah, this might work. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And we got a Master Tactician card. And we can scrap a card too. Okay. He had got himself a bunch of extra uh, combat strength, but I don't think that's going to help him. So we've got five, six. She's up to 15 points. Like we're we're going to win this, I think, because we've got this. Uh, we've got this Gunthrop card. Okay, so we're going to hit reveal. Oh, we're up to 20. Now, Chris Knife might be useful. I, I, I think we're getting to the point where it might we might be a bit beyond needing to do that. And the Benny Gesser initiative is probably going to be a better bet. Ah, it's a Reverend Mother as well. We could have got... It's just end of turn there. Okay. Wow, I'm still on five victory points. Let's just pass. I don't want to play these. Okay, so we won that. We're up to seven victory points, and we got hold of Arakeen as well. That's why I like this game. It's always it's always tight. <laughs> it's like Ariana really, really stepped up, um, stepped forwards. Look at this. There's, there's six spice to be got here. If I could get myself a... Um, water, just one water card. What do we got here? We've got a convincing argument. I'm not bothered about that. Um, we don't have the Solari for the Swordsmaster. I am the uh, I'm the first player as well. That's good. Okay, we could swap. We could block people from grabbing this. Which is probably what Il Ilban's going to do. He's going to grab that and then play this. And we don't want him to do that. Um, this is actually quite good. Like I would quite like to win this one. Because this is going to give us two influence. And I could probably use it to race ahead in one of these. Um, I think I'm going to play this. Let's go for... Uh, do I want spice or do I want an army? I probably want an army, don't I? Yeah, let's go with that and we'll get the uh, with the intrigue card as well. Okay, got a private army card. That's good. So we're going to block a board space and we're going to block that one. And then we're going to deploy some troops. Go. All right. And you might find the AI doesn't contest this quite so heavily. It just depends. Like, I mean, if he, if... If Ilban won this one, for example, he could race ahead, take my points, and I wouldn't be able to take him back. Um, with regards to the the Imperial uh, the Imperial Alliance, okay. Yeah, she's moved ahead there. I've got a few too many cards in my deck, I think, but that's okay. It happens. Okay, she might grab this next. Yeah, we just got the convincing argument. One, two, three, four, five. What would that get us? Not a whole bunch. The Fremen camp might be a good one, but again, kind of too many cards.
Um. Yeah, I get the spice because I think if I get the spice, that at least gives me the option of getting um, this one here. And I'd like—I I think I should do that conspire because if I can get—if I get the option to at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, what's that going to give me? There's not a whole lot here, is there? Okay, he played conspire, so he's actually taken my alliance off me now. That's unfortunate. So I've lost a victory point, and he's gained one. Okay. Now I've got uh, myself and Ill Banner, Ill, uh, Ill Banner on uh, level pegging, pegging. So, but Ariana's still in the lead with eight victory points. All right. Yeah, let's just reveal. This is another one that allows you to scrap cards, which is pretty useful. Yeah, I told you they wouldn't. They wouldn't like try too hard to win this. Uh, they're not gonna. They're not gonna go all in with their, with their uh, warrior or their troops. Now, if I want to win this, I can, and it would be a good idea for me to go and try and win this. Uh, she's gone up to nine. I'm on three. Some eight. Ah, damn it. Now I can play these. Yeah, I can win this. So I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play the private army. Okay, that me takes me up to eleven. Now I don't have the um the Solari to play the reinforcements card. But I don't have any troops either. Ah, she's going up to twelve, damn it. Ah, oh, what a shame. Okay. Okay, so she didn't end up winning that one. That's a real that's a bummer, because I could have I could have used that to jump to ahead here and take the take that back uh, that alliance back off Ilban. I should try to still get that one if I can. Okay. She won that one, but at least she didn't win. Oh wow, she's gone up to the, she's taken the alliance though on the Fremen. So she's up to nine victory points. We've got two more rounds to go. Oh, she's up to ten. No, it's game over. Right, okay, so it looks like it's game over. Because she's got herself up to ten points. Now, I've I should come second because I've got more spice than Ilban. But it just depends on what cards he's got. Oh, okay, well there we go. <laughs> he's just shot ahead. And she's up to 11. All right, so it's game over. And I was defeated. Yeah, as you can see. Like, so I was playing with him. I don't really know what I'm doing with Paul Atreides. I know you're supposed to, you're supposed to go with a wider build with him. But I, yeah, I, I couldn't figure that out at all. I'm generally better, I think, when I just go for... I go for the High Council early and then I play with a leaner deck. I'm not so good with many cards. Uh, I think it's, there's a real, you know, that's kind of like a high skill cap thing. That's why I think that Paul's probably, you know, he's on the higher skill cap not the lower which is kind of weird that it's he's kind of like considered to be one of the easier characters to play it might be one of the easier characters to learn the game with i think that's probably a fair a fair representation but i don't think it's easier to win with <laughs> anyway all right that's gonna be it guys thanks for watching this game has come out today man go and get it it's like it is so good it's uh, as of the, uh, the time of you know me recording this it's when the game is just released out of early access this game has got 99 percent um, on the recent reviews and it's got a lot of reviews as well like it's i think it's at 96 percent on the overall reviews which so it's overwhelmingly positive it's got, had over a thousand reviews run so it's incredibly well done this digital version is incredibly well done as well i just think it, i love all the sound effects i love the graphics i just think it's really well made it's a superb game Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching Battle Mode get wrecked as Paul Atreides. And I'm going to play this again soon. Hopefully a, a multiplayer game with some other YouTubers. All right, guys. Take care.